one of my bellmen approached me, and he kind of had a weird look on his face, and he said to me, uh, can we go in your office and talk? I brought him into my office, and he says, uh, something really weird happened here yesterday, and, and uh, you weren't here. He said, uh, there's a couple guys in here looking for you. And I said, a couple guys? What do you mean? And he said, well, um, this is really hard for me to say. He said, but there's a couple really strange-looking men that were here. And they kind of freaked everybody out, and they were asking questions about you. And, of course, now I'm getting a little bit nervous, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, well, they were, he goes, I don't know how to describe them except for extremely odd-looking. They were really, really tall, he said, and they were identical height. They were the exact same height. They were wearing the exact same clothes and they had the exact same faces, like they were twins. And he said they were wearing black suits, black trench coats. They were wearing like the old fashioned uh, Federal hats. They had extremely, extremely pale skin. And he said they came in and they looked around a little bit and they asked for you. And I said, I'm sorry, he's actually not working today. And it seemed like they didn't believe me, so they started to walk around the hotel. And shortly after, they went to the tour desk, and he goes, I got busy. I started to have to bring cars around and get luggage. And by the time I came back, they were gone. But he goes, they freaked me out, and I really wanted to tell you that there were these weird guys in here looking for you. So, of course, now I'm a little bit skeptical and a little bit freaked out all at the same time. So the first thing I do is I run into my security office because I know how to work the security system, and I rewound the cameras, and sure enough, there, here comes two gentlemen through the front door looking exactly how he described. Then the next day, I was talking with my uh, tour guest, and one of them um, asked to talk to me. She came in my office, the same as my bellman, and she said, I, I need to tell you about something that happened. I heard that you heard that there were some men looking for you. And I said, yes. And she said, they asked a few questions about you, and they said strange things that I didn't understand. And they were talking about governments and conspiracies, and none of it made any sense to me. But she goes, they were very, very scary. And I said, well, why were they scary? And she said, they had no facial hair, none. She said they had no eyebrows, no eyelashes, nothing. Their hair looked like they had a wig on, like it was attached to their hat, like it wasn't even real. And she said, and the scariest thing, their eyes were so big and so blue that they almost hypnotized me a little bit. And she goes, and you're going to think I'm crazy when I tell you this, but I swear they knew what I was thinking. I swear. And I don't think I'm crazy, but I don't even know how they could do it, and I don't know why I'm even telling you this. She goes, so I started to think about things other than you, and I don't even know if it worked. And she started to cry, and she said one more thing before she left. She said, these men, they didn't blink. Not once did I see them blink.